What's up, YouTube? Okay, uh, we're going to be doing a video on Pokemon Go. Now, this is a guide, a real basic guide, and I'm going to go through all the stuff you need to know about Pokemon Go, some basic things. If you feel I've missed anything or it needs a slight correction, make sure you drop it in the comment section below. Um, it's really, this is just an information video for all people that want to know stuff about Pokemon Go. I played it for about three to four days straight now, and I think I've got a pretty good grasp of the game. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, first up, we have your profile. This shows what your level is by clicking on your face at the bottom of the game. Um, it shows you how much experience gain you've got to the next level and when you are going to get your next reward uh, going for the next level too. It shows your uh, little picture of you and your username there up the top and below it shows if you've bought anything or what team you are. In the background, I'm Team Blue, there's the Articuno. Okay, let's go over what items do what. So we have the potion there, which heals your Pokemon after going to a gym battle. The super potion, which does a little bit more health. And the revive, if your Pokemon completely faints. We have the lucky egg, which actually is used for doubling your experience for 30 minutes time. Uh, make sure you're careful using this though. They're not a very easy item to get outside purchasing. Now, the incense is a very important one. Uh, if you use this incense, uh, it will attract uh, wild Pokemon to your location. Even if it's a very barren location, it will up your uh, rate of finding a Pokemon. And it's, it can be um, it can be Pokemon that aren't even on the radar for that area either. Okay, you've got your Pokeball and your Great Ball. Obviously, that's self-explanatory. Now, Lure Mode is very interesting. Last night, I seen a person cast two Lure Modes next to uh, two uh, Poke zones. Now, what this does is this actually attracts Pokemon as well. But this, however, works for everyone. So, say I've got one guy use it, then everyone can benefit from it for 30 minutes. Okay, now let's go on the mechanics of actually catching a Pokemon. Now, uh, firstly, you'll find a Pokemon when you come across it. Um, you'll you'll have a little symbol in the in the uh, bottom of your screen, you'll look like sort of like dog paws. Now, um, obviously, the amount of the higher the amount of paws, the further away the Pokemon is. So, you know, it'll go three paws, two paws, one paws. And then, when there's none, you're basically you know, standing next to it. So, keep that one in mind when you are searching for Pokemon as well. There, at the uh, point of catching a Pokemon, you will uh, bump into it and you you will bring up the Pokemon. You will need to face it with a camera. There will be arrows on the side, actually pointing to where the Pokemon is. Now, catching the Pokemon. This uh, took me a couple of uh, goes to get. Um, the footage shown here probably isn't the best because. Um, I was still learning the game then, but you need to hold the Pokeball down until you see a circle appear around the opposing Pokemon. It'll fluctuate in and out. You want to get it the smallest circle possible when the ball hits the Pokemon. This gives you your highest of chance and it gives you the most experience as well. Now, your experience is also based, is obviously based on how many Pokemon you catch too. So if you catch a Pokemon, you'll get a certain amount of experience. Let's go a little bit more into catching Pokemon. Now, if you've got a Pokemon, right, and you want to evolve it and ch change it, you need to catch a lot of the same Pokemon, right? So what you want to do is you want to go into the Pokemon you've caught and you want to look at your highest CP Pokemon. So say if you've got, uh, whatever, you've got a Pidgeot that's, uh, sorry, you've got a, um, a Pidgey that's CP of 200 and you've got a whole bunch of Pidgeys that have a CP of only like 20 or 30. You need to actually go to them, click on them and you need to scroll down and there'll be an option called transfer and you click on that and that'll change uh, the Pokemon into uh, candy. Now, uh, ca upon catching a Pokemon of that uh, evolution line, you'll get three candy. Upon turning the Pokemon or transferring it, you'll get one candy. Uh, the, the Each Pokemon is shown on there how much candy it needs for the, ex uh, the next evolution if you click on the Pokemon. Each Pokemon gives off different candy, so you'll need to farm a lot of Pokemon to evolve your Pokemon up. 
Um, and you can also um, you can also power your Pokemon up uh, when you get a really strong Pokemon. You can power it up using Candy and Stardust as well. Stardust is very easy to obtain. You get that a lot. Uh, candy is a bit harder, so you need to uh, you're constantly using Candy if you're leveling your Pokemon up. If you picked up any eggs, there's three types of eggs that I've found. There's a two kilometer egg, there's a five kilometer egg, and there's a ten kilometer egg. Now, um, each of these eggs means something different. Obviously, the shorter kilometer one, in my experience, means the Pokemon isn't as good as the higher one. So, uh, two kilometer ones, I found stuff like Caterpie, Zubat. The five kilometer ones, I've found stuff like Panita. And the 10 kilometer ones, I found stuff like Scyther. So, they were pretty cool. Um, to find those ones as well. So the higher the kilometers, the higher the price. Now, um, you can do this in a car, but uh, if you just like plant your foot and do two, 200 kilometers an hour, you are most certainly going to not, it's not going to count. You need to go like the same speed as like a, a human being would. So you can't really cheat that one there. Okay. Also, now um, let's go into battling gyms. Now, if you look on your map, you'll probably see like these big, really tall things. They'll be red or whatever color, um, like they whoever went with what. Now you'll click on them. You need to be near them too. Um, you need to be near them to click on them. So it'll tell you the gym, and you can challenge it and such. Now make sure you've got some potions and things. Um, if you challenge the gym, you pretty much just spam the other Pokemon. Uh, that's what I found so far. Um, if you have found other ways and stuff or whatever, uh, you could just mention in the comment section below, but that's what I found. And you can actually, uh, you drop the points of the gym and you keep doing that until you take over the gym yourself. You can deposit your own Pokemon in there and um, that one will stay with that gym uh, and it'll give it a little icon in your Pokedex too, uh, or your Pokemon, and it'll tell you that it's in the gym. And that's going to uh, be the Pokemon you drop off in the gym. So uh, you can drop all these Pokemon off the gym. You can challenge other people's gym, but be aware there's someone, someone that means someone can challenge your Pokemon as well. So you're, you'll know when your Pokemon comes back to you that your gym has lost. So really cool feature. I, I like that one. Um, and you can also train your Pokemon too at the gym uh, there as well. Now, also, there'll be points as well on the map. Um, they'll be called Pokestops. Now, um, with Pokestops, they're really, really good for getting items, especially Pokeballs. Now, if you're clever and go to an area that's got a lot of them, you can actually walk a little circuit. Now, um, if you walk a little circuit, you can uh, actually spin the... Uh, Pokestop around. Now, the Pokestops that are available to get will be a light blue color. Now, after you grab your stuff from them, they'll change to a purple. So, go to the next one, then grab your stuff, then walk around. They don't take very long to recharge, but you'll know when it's recharged because you can get all kinds of stuff like Pokeballs, um, you know, anything revives, that, that sort of thing. Um, air, I've even got eggs before. So yeah, that, they're really good to have. And they're your bread and butter. You actually don't really need to spend a cent in this game if you do that um, and find some good points. Okay, guys, that was just a small little breakdown on Pokemon Go in general. I probably missed out a couple of other things too, but I just wanted to give the raw basics for the beginning users. If you do have anything you'd like to submit in the comment section, make sure you do. Uh, anything just that I've missed or maybe that's just, uh, you know, that's not quite correct. Uh, but that's this is all the stuff that I've found out by playing Pokemon Go and uh, walking around. I've been playing this one for three days straight now. So well, pretty much three days straight um, there. But yeah, uh, definitely if you... The basically the, the whole thing about this game is you pretty much just catch every Pokemon and do all the little... Uh, pokey stops as well and you just keep leveling up and you'll eventually find better pokemon uh, you absolutely don't need to pay for this game either all you need is uh, wi-fi data on your phone i mean which it most which most people using their phone would have anyway so it's not very hungry on that either it's more hungry on the battery uh, but yeah uh, everything you can get free just uh, if you play a lot and go around to lots of poker stops, it should be all good. Uh, you can def this uh, gaming experience is definitely fine playing it free. Uh, it, there's stuff in the shop pretty much to speed stuff up. But yeah, um, I've had a ball playing this game. It's uh, really good. I'm looking forward to um, getting all the rest of the Pokemon I've got. 
I've got quite a few of them already. Uh, it be interesting to see uh, when they add in the trading as well with other people. They did mention that in their trailer, but they haven't done that. And uh, all the other Pokemon too. I'm sure they'll sh- slowly roll it out uh, as well in the future too and everyone there. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it was informative. If you did find it informative, uh, slap a like on the video. That'd be really good. And uh, if you want to see any more of these type of videos, I can do them too. Peace out.